By using safe mode, you can just make the tracking a lot more efficient because this is all dependent on your machine specs. So we turn on safe mode. If you press the settings cog here, you can have it as safe as possible or not as safe as possible. Okay, so down here is a much safer option. And what this means is that when you go to start adding some trackings on, so I'm gonna add a new track in here. When you are then tracking a player and I press spacebar, this all moves a lot slower. So it's giving your computer time to actually do the tracking. So if you've got a lower spec machine or it's a really tricky situation and you don't want to do as much editing of pausing and going back and forth, then using safe mode is a useful thing for you because it will pretty much always stay on that player. Again, if it went out of, out of sync, you can press spacebar, move this around and just help it along the way. But safe mode is the safest way to track your players, especially useful when there's lots of crossing over of players or it's not a solid background on a pitch like we've got here. So if it's not a field-based sport, safe mode's really useful there.